if the server had, let's say, a, um, a process of taking the order, he'd be more effective. And this is what he needs to do. And this is the tip for the, uh, for the day. I'm Eric A. Valdivieso, and I help people like you make six figures as a server in a restaurant. Okay, and today's tip is about taking the order. Here's the thing. Over the weekend, I, had, I took my mother out for brunch, and it was abysmal. And here's the reason why our server had no process. And with no process, things can become very dangerous as it relates to building relationships. People don't wanna be feel like they're not being led accordingly, if you will. Uh, and they're relying on their servers to take them on a, on a very specific journey of steps. And if you have no process, then you have no steps. And if you have no steps, you have no relationships. So when I got there, so when mom and I got there, it was fantastic. Uh, the host was super pleasant. Uh, escorted us to our table immediately. Unfortunately, the server failed in his responsibility because he didn't hit the table until about 13 minutes after we sat down. And um, that's unreasonable anywhere, like completely unreasonable anywhere. 13 minutes just to tap the table and say hello. On top of that, when the server finally got to the table, I was really, really hungry, so I immediately asked him for some food and a drink order. The drink finally arrived 45 minutes after my mom and I sat down. With that being stated, the first course arrived prior to the cocktails, which is completely unacceptable. Anywhere you go, yes or no? Yes, and here's the reason for this video. What if the server had a process? What if he was organized? What if he had, let's say, a piece of paper and a pen and you know, broke down his section to look something like this? Table one, two, three, four, five, and six. So instead of dealing with one table at a time, he or she could stack the responsibilities for each individual table by being organized and writing everything down and taking everything out of their heads. You don't wanna memorize anything. You wanna get everything out of your head. You wanna put it down on paper so you can stay organized and focused. So then, then you can cultivate your relationships because that's exactly what you're there to do. Not to take orders and write things down. You just do that as a byproduct. But you wanna do it to get the minutia out of your head. Put it on paper so that you can focus on your customers and the relationships. So here's the, the major tip of today. Being organized, uh, and the example is simply this. You go to table one, you make an impression, make a really good impression, and ask them what they need. Ask them what they're in the, in, the, in the mood for and what they want. Write it down, get it out of your head. Do not memorize anything as it relates to food and beverage. Do that, write it down, then pivot. Make a sweet little pivot to table two, right this way, and pivot. Hello, welcome, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Sparkling or still water, write it down. And then pivot and go to table three. And stack the order before you get lost in the back of the house where the guests can no longer see you. Don't get lost. Take care of your section. Take care of your guests. Stack it. Then get lost. Get it all together. When you come back onto the floor, everyone's being taken care of. And that's how you build relationships. Don't get lost. Because you know what happens when you get lost? Guests leave. Here's the point, really. I would have stayed with my mother had my server been my ambassador. But because I couldn't find him, 
I no longer wanted to stay. That journey for my mom and myself was over, which as a byproduct made that server's per guest check average smaller than what it could have been. If you're getting value, hit like. If you'd like to know more on how I went from making minimum wage to consistently making six figures as a server, then you need to click the link below so you can learn more on how exactly in detail how I did it and how you can do it too.